International customers expect faultless service, including no surprises about the price paid, the duties and taxes, and the nature of the goods delivered. If you want to understand how the SMEs are struggling, we really need to dive to their level. We can summarize the, the barriers that the SMEs are encountering in three layers. It's almost like onion rings. So the third layer is within their own country. So how do I get my product or my service out of my country? The first mile is already a struggle. Which documents I need to prepare? Do I need authorization to export? Do I need to clear uh, some authorization from this ministry or this agency? Then we have cross-border mile. This is where you need to comply with regulations when you enter the European Union or the American market or the Chinese market. What is very difficult for the SMEs at this level is that the whole policy and the whole processes of crossing the border have been kind of designed for big transactions. When you're small, everything is very costly because of the fixed costs. The last mile is within the country of your customer and there you have the problems of high cost of logistics, of receiving payments in the currency of your customer, of complying with the local taxes and regulations. So this is the, 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 the last uh, onion ring. The ITC eSolutions program aims to boost the success of small firms. It's a change of mentality whereby we train our entrepreneurs to think global, to think like a multinational, and today we can bring them the tools and the strategies of a multinational in a cost-effective way. We reached the, the level where we need to make sales happen. We have developed few solutions for online marketing and offline marketing. One of them is what we call the Ecom Caravan. The Ecom Caravan gives customers hands-on experience, which can promote trust, brand awareness, and demand a combination that can translate into sales. People are dependent on the local buyers or local exporters. Here we see a great opportunity how we can expand our market globally. It's a fantastic opportunity. It translates in, um, in two things. One is that the digital window shortens the time that it would have taken to find a customer, to conclude the deal, to follow up with the customer, to find information. The second aspect, aspect is also about shortening the distance. When you have to deliver a physical product, with the digital edge, you can today hire a last mile uh, shipping carrier in America to deliver to the American customer. But there's much more to digital than e-commerce. Small firms can also access procurement solutions and by the use of digital signature, manage and create their own global value chains. Regulators, if you could start by trusting our enterprises, by giving them the benefit of the doubt, especially when they are starting their business, it would be great if we could, all of us, dive deeper to the level of the small and medium entrepreneurs. Sometimes from a policy level or from a multinational level when we are a private partner, we come with macro information, but a lot of uh, the barriers and solutions that are needed are actually at the micro level or even I could say the nano level. As much as we want to enter into partnerships with private sector firms and in other institutions, we encourage the E-Trade for All communities to think of us as a partner in delivering e-solutions for SMEs. And we encourage you to include us in your programme.